Hey everybody, it's Megan, Stitching Moon, and I'm finally back with floss tube number 45. Yeah, it's been a month. <laughs> I feel like I'm confessing. It's been a month since my last confession. No. A month since my last floss tube. So even though I felt like I didn't stitch much, I have 13 projects to show today. Um, but not a ton of progress on all of them because... I don't know, I haven't been able to stitch that much on any one project. And I usually post like everything I do on Instagram for the day, but I just haven't been lately because I maybe got 100 stitches on one thing and then put it away and I'm like, eh. <laughs> maybe I should show it anyway. But yeah, I just didn't. And I might have missed some things since I haven't been posting on Instagram because usually when I'm making these, I'll go back through my Instagram to see what I've worked on and since I didn't put everything I don't know I might be missing things but 13 is enough <laughs> so yeah I feel like I've been MIA just from the whole cross stitch community for a little bit just you know I haven't been I didn't film and then also not on Instagram as much and I haven't really been watching a lot of floss tube either um so I actually had some time recently over the past couple weeks to watch some and I actually want to thank the Keystone Stitcher because I watched her was hers was like the first I watched when I got back into watching some because she said you know big finish and I was like okay maybe that can be something I need to see and yeah it was amazing she has an amazing full coverage finish if you haven't seen her check it out I'll link her below um, and that and she also got a ton of progress on everything else. She has great goals that she's been very productive on. And so that really inspired me to get back into it and try and get more done. But I mean, the reason I haven't been as active is because, well, I am pregnant, as if you've seen my other videos, you know. And so I've had some really tired days and then some really like normal energy days. But I feel like there's some days where I'm just like, I'll take a two hour nap and I'm still just like a zombie. <laughs> so, and then there was like a day that I didn't even, I forgot to stitch normally in the evenings. I'll sit down to stitch, but then there was this one day like I meant to, and then I just totally forgot, which is I'm like, I forgot to stitch. That doesn't happen. <laughs> so it's been strange. Also, like I've still, even now in the third trimester, been feeling a little queasy and I don't know, something, it just, something about looking up close at things and stitching on detail isn't as appealing. But I still, as I was going through what I've done, I've still done a lot, like, considering all of that. And I've also been busy, but I'll do a little life update at the end if you want to hear a little more about that. But yeah, I'm also a bit out of breath and... Uh, but I can show you I'm 33 weeks almost 34 now so I'll try and get up and show you I'm a little bumpy <laughs> so yeah here he is baby boy is due October 23rd so um yeah not too much longer today is September 6th and yeah, I have, like, I'm in living in Norway, but I'm from the U.S., if you don't know. And at the end, I won't get into it now, but at the end, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about why it's amazing giving birth here in Norway. <laughs> anyway, let's get right into the whips. I also have, after that, a um, little bit of plans and some shout-outs. Um, so, oh, sorry, I need to catch my breath a little bit more often. So first I'm going to show you my somewhat focused pieces. I have three, so I guess they're just the ones I stitch more often. So um, they're like mostly baby stuff. <laughs> but this one is a birth sampler from the historical sampler company. And that's what it'll look like. We still don't know the baby's name. <laughs> we have like one we like both agree on. Um, I don't even know. So 
we'll see. It might be one of those things where he has to be born and we look at him and see what he is, but <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this one came in a kit um, on a 32 count linen. And here I am, I love it. It's so cute. And I'm really just posting this on Instagram when I finish a block, but I did. Let's see, I don't even know. Um, a lot of these, I don't know where I was last time I showed it because it's been so long, but I think I finished the flag and then did these two boxes. So yeah, I am not gonna get this done by the time he comes because I've been working on it already for, I wanna say most of the summer. And I've only got to H and I still have like the borders around his name in the middle and all that. And I only have like six weeks to go. So yeah, but that's okay. I mean, my daughter's I didn't get done till she was like a year, nine months to a year old or something. So, yep. Okay. My other one for baby is a blanket quilt that is stamped from, it's a design works company, but it's called Tobin Baby. And that's what it will look like. And this one, yeah, again, I'm not gonna get this done anytime before he comes, but I'm working on the border. almost on the border so that's exciting so I've got all the top one done and I, the back stitching really brought it to life I wasn't that into it at first but when I did the back stitching then yeah like it and then I did all of this border here that went pretty quick it's very big and I'm on the bottom now just you know the same as the top and I just have to do let me see I just have to do the back stitching there and then finish the border I'm hoping I can finish that the next time I work on it just depending on how much time I have then but yeah okay My final uh, focus that I've been stitching with Stephanie, the on point stitcher, is Advent Animals by Brooks Books. And we are in the middle of number 19. So I believe last time I showed you, I was working on the bunny. Um, nah, yeah, the bunny. <laughs> Remy Rabbit, he's called. So that's all done. And now working on Larry Lion. Now, yeah, it's funny. Like, I, w I finished the, the bunny. And then um, Stephanie was like, oh, wow, I got to get caught up. And she hadn't been doing it. So she finished that. Plus, she finished Larry the Lion. So now I'm the one who's behind. Um... So yeah, I have to, I, I was planning on getting this done this year by Christmas or a little before, but yeah, I have six, well, six and a half now left to go. And then once the baby comes, it's just uh, going to be hectic. So I'm not putting any pressure on myself. If it doesn't get done, that's okay. Um... But I did, I'm very happy with my progress this year. I think I started working on it like more December of last year. And then I think I was, I came into this year at maybe three or four done. So not bad. Almost 19 done. These are free patterns that you can download. 
Oh, and I'm doing it on the called for fabric, which is a 28 count Babbling Brook Jobelin. Okay. Then the other ones I stitched on when they came up on a wheel that I have and spin on um, my other days that I'm not focusing on those. So um, that's what I stitched on. And this one came up twice, I believe. And this one is the 13 Moons Stitch Along from the Little Stitcher Shop on Etsy. And it was, you know, from maybe last year, but I'm still not even done the first block. I don't have a picture of what the whole thing will look like, but it's 13 moons because, you know, sometimes there's a blue moon, which actually just happened at the end of August. And oh, it was beautiful here. Just orangey big moon coming up over the mountains with like clouds and oh yeah it was gorgeous I had been planning on starting my kit called blue moon on that day but things have just been too much <laughs> so I didn't have it in me to do a new start but anyway here it is this is January wolf moon and I I changed out the fabric. This was a restart because I was doing it on a lighter fabric that the white wasn't really popping. So I'm, oh, this one is awesome. It's a 16 count Ada Mystic. Yeah, the Mystic. I got it on one, two, three stitch. So yeah, that's fun. Even though now there's like, there's going to be a ton of this. It's what, 38.65 in the whole thing, but it's actually, it's funner, it's much more fun to stitch on with this color. So there I am. I was slow stitching this. <laughs> Even, I had two days on it, but I didn't get that far. <laughs> yeah. And next we have Nomies or uh, no snuggle up Nomies by Kaylee Tenstitch. I don't again have a picture of what it'll look like, but you may have seen finished products from um, I know Suki the brown eyed stitcher finished it. I never can tell. Okay, I think this is the way it goes because I'm starting in like the middle ish, and this is part of the beard, and this. No, it's not the nose. I keep on forgetting. I think the nose will be up here. And then this was this, was it the arm? I'm forgetting. But now there's going to be a big block of color here where this was confetti. So it should go faster the next time I pick it up. And I have, I have it in Pattern Keeper. So I only have 461 stitches and it's 4.22%. And this is on... Just a fabric I got from like Walmart when I was in the States. I think it's, looks like 18 count. Oh, and this little needle minder was from some Stitchy Kindness that I'll talk about after. Super cute. And that was great because I, I have so many projects now without needle minders. Because um, I have so many. <laughs> So now, I've got more. I think this, I'm also missing some threads and as I've been starting new projects, I thought I had them kitted up and then I'm like missing a few, which is annoying, but oh well. Okay, I need to also take breaks for my coffee. I just have one per day and it's like, 1 p.m. and I still haven't really drank any. And it's iced. It's like an iced coconut from Nespresso and it's so good. And this was like it's weird this pregnancy I've only been able to drink mostly like iced coffees. I couldn't do hot. Sometimes I can now but yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. Next one. Scorpio by Nora Corbett. My sun sign. And she's slow going, 
but I am getting more into the groove of her now. I've restarted her um, on, I first did it on this fabric and now I'm doing it on a more fancy, colorful, fun fabric. Um, but if you know, if you followed me, I've been like, I've always had to like frog a bunch of times on her. But now, you know, I realized I've come to peace with it. I'm still like off half a stitch in some places, but I'm just done fighting with her. So I'm just going with it and it's gonna be fine. So, here she is. Now she looks really good. She's got some of her, I did, a, I worked on her hair and her crown. And yeah, I mean, it's somewhere over in, in up like here and uh, it just doesn't line up quite with the face, but I'm just making it work. Like, it's fine. You can't tell. And it's not worth it. It's not worth stressing over, right? So there she is. And this fabric is definitely, definitely big enough. But if I, I mean, since it's such pretty fabric, I'll probably frame it larger so you can see more of the fabric. And it's opalescent. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm forgetting I'm like out of practice so it's 32 count um full bloom by xju design beautiful and I'm using all the called for threads and some dmc and some karen water lilies okay next was my focus for most of the year but since I found out I was pregnant and started working on the baby stuff um that's been more my focus so I was originally planning to finish it this year but that's not gonna happen but still I've made great progress on it this year and that's Queen of Silk she came up at least two times so I still got to do a good bit on her design works kit It's just huge, but beautiful. Okay. Look. And this time now, I'm working back up at the top. I'm going down in 10 by 10 squares, down the whole thing. And I don't know if you can see it, but I actually got to some of her skin in her face. Right there, the peach. So she'll have not too much in her face this way down, but still. And then I finished up back stitching um, what I have done of the crown and her hair. And it doesn't show up on camera, but it's very sparkly gold. And so if you've seen before, I had originally run out of the gold filament like really early so they sent me some more like the same amount as what originally came in it and I'm already out of it again <laughs> so I did find I had a gold crinic in my stash so now I'm just using that and if you look closely you probably can't tell on camera but if you look closely they are somewhat different where the one that originally came in the kit is actually a little more dulled than the one they sent me and then the crinic is just a tiny bit different and that uh, crinic is there but it's hard to tell and you wouldn't be able to tell like at a distance or anything so it's fine I'm just glad I had that so I can finish it <laughs> and yeah it's also gonna have beads and yeah she's just She's very pretty. Um, it's on the everything called for 14 count Ada that came in it. Um, but yeah, all this part I finally filled in. Yeah. So I did a lot this year on her.
Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, next, this also came up a few times, was another stitch along, the tarot stitch along from Witch's Garden Crafts. This is what the whole thing will look like. It's already done. Um, and I'm still working on the border, but I was able to get a good bit done. And it's on a fabric from Witch's Garden Crafts. And she made it, cut it, and made it, like, the color specifically for this stitch along. And there was several to choose from. But I have this 14-count um, opalescent Ada in Daguerreotype. Oh, it's one of my favorite fabrics. I love, I love, love, love that. And, yeah, so here I'm at in the border. And I've come all the way, not all the way down the border, but almost. I'm in the part where it's going to start, like, indenting on the bottom, like you can see in the picture. Um, I just have to do, like, that part of the border and then fill in all the cards. <laughs> uh, so I think I'll do that first before I work on the inside, just because right now in Pattern Keeper, I have just the border uploaded. So I might as well just get that done and then work on the fun stuff. So since it is in Pattern Keeper, I am at 3,089 stitches and the border is 38.96%, just of the border. It doesn't seem like much considering how much I have, but it's just, I guess, all those cards I could outline. Yep. And then then we have my heaven and earth design. Very wrinkled picture. <laughs> Together by Jim Warren. piece for my husband and I and it, unfortunately there's not much to look at because most of the, what I've done is in the key snap and I'm working on the next section um but I got a couple days on this but again not too much each time and I'm doing it on 25 count easy guide and this is one over one full cross so I'm just kind of working on that diagonal again not much to see but Let's see, I'm at, in total, 39,954 stitches, 12.89%. Almost got to 40,000 stitches. And this is the part where now I've done, like, that tree in the corner, and now this part is where that house is going to come in. So I'm super excited to see more of that. Another full coverage. It might have also come up a couple times, I'm not sure. But it's Cafe Terrace, Van Gogh, and from Cross Stitch Collectibles. It's the smaller version. Um, yeah. So it's 220 by 291 stitches. And this is one that I'm missing some color, so it does have some holes. But hopefully my um, well, my mom is coming to visit once the baby's born. So I can have her bring some of those missing things over. And what am I at for this? 1,376 stitches for 2.15%. And I got my Van Gogh needle minder. So not too much, and this is on 25 count again, one, no, two over one half cross. So I can't wait to just fill in like some of those missing ones there, but 
yeah and this one I can I use the hashtag fine arts Friday on that um, Bohemian Stitcher started for any of like the famous gallery artwork pieces even though I'm not stitching it on Fridays <laughs> but but then it, you can like you know follow that and see the these kind of different artwork pieces which I actually have a few of so someday when they're all done I can have like a museum gallery wall which would be cool okay then then we have just a couple more um this one is one that I made myself just for me because um I used to live in Boston while I did my internship and I was on the subway which is the T in Boston they call it and I just wanted to make like a map of the T and stitch it so that's where it is and I only I have on there just the just <laughs> there's a lot of stops that actually like have memories of some sort or meaning of some sort so this is not all the stops they had a bunch more but I'm just doing those even though there's still a lot <laughs> but yeah it's it's boring to stitch I'm not gonna lie but every time it comes up I'm like oh but I, I have to get it done I want to get it done at some point so gotta work on it and it's on a 22 count hardanger um, which way yeah this way this way not really much to look at yet either but so I'm not actually done the red line but I was stitching on it one night and all of a sudden my bobbin of red just disappeared <laughs> I literally cannot find it yeah it's just gone so I'm gonna have to get another one of those colors I have no idea how that happened but now I'm working on the orange line even though it looks yellow but in the map it actually looks yellow even though it's orange but probably to stand out enough from the red. So, yeah. That is that. Oh, and I do have it in Pattern Keeper. So, I have 1,537 stitches. And this isn't counting the back stitch for the words, but it's 29.41%. Okay. this up then we have <laughs> um this one is a gift for my sister who's coming in Christmas so I want to finish it by then but I am waiting on a couple of uh colors I have one that I borrowed from another project that I'm almost done with and once I'm done with that I'll just have to wait for the other colors I think there's just two more um two or three more that I need and this is Peking Jesus from Subversive Cross Stitch. <laughs> Just a funny one. So yeah, I just have to fill in what's white there and then I'm done. And I do want to frame it, I think. Well, yeah, it's little enough that she can probably bring it back in her suitcase, hopefully without it breaking, but like the edge of the frame will be here. So he's like peeking out of the frame. <laughs> So yeah, funny. And it's a quick stitch. I think I just did his head in one whole day or one just one day of stitching. But yeah, almost done with that. That'll be her Christmas present. <laughs> if I can fit it back in my little case here. And the last one and this is one I just got a teeny teeny bit of stitching on but still progress and it was on dimensions gold petites a kiss for snowman and sorry it's like buried in the other stuff here so Ow. 
the Ada just poked me and it hurt. It's a stiff Ada in these kits. Uh, okay. So, here we are. And I just did, like, the little, a little bit more of the face. And I think, like, some up here. It really wasn't much. I still have to do all the back stitching, um, but yeah, so cute. Reminds me of my daughter who just turned three and a half. Um, and now she's saying she's kind of getting the idea of seasons where she's like, and after fall, it's the snow in winter. And, and then she's like, I want to eat the snow. <laughs> she's all about eating snow. So that's what she's looking forward to in winter. Oh, gotta put the cover back in. Okay, so those were what I worked on, which is more than it seemed like. I think just because I didn't get as much stitching in as normal. Um, but overall, it's still, still progress. So now, hmm, what is next? <laughs> Plans. So I'm going to kind of continue as long as I can doing like the same three focuses and then like a random one in between. Um, but I noticed what's, I think what's holding me back is on those days um, where I pick like a random wheel project. Some days I only have like a little bit of time to stitch, like an hour, maybe two and then I'm like, do I want to bring out a whole other project and start it again for just a little time? So I think that's making me like hesitant. So what I might do is if on the days that I just have a little bit of time to stitch and it's supposed to be like a random wheel day, I'm just going to work on one of the focuses that's like already ready to go and out. And I don't have to think too much about getting back into it. So today is going to be one of those days because, you know, I spent all morning... Well, I woke up, I got to sleep in finally today, which was nice. So I woke up at almost nine and then did, you know, breakfast, workout. I'm trying to do workouts maybe like once or twice a week now. Just little light things that I can do because I get so stiff, like if I don't work out and stretch. So that felt really good. Then shower and drying hair and stuff and lunch and putting this all together. So, and now filming, then uploading. And then tonight I'm going to see a movie with one of my friends and there's very little happening in my town. So getting to go see a movie um, now and then is nice. <laughs> and it's funny cause it's a French movie. So they're speaking in French and there's Norwegian subtitles, so. Yeah, it's going to be work <laughs> to go to this movie, but yeah, anyway. So I have that going on, but before we get into like life, oh, other plans. I also want to work on ornaments because every year I like to do Christmas ornaments for um, my family. So one for my husband, one for my daughter, and now I need to make one for baby boy, his first. And I know my mom wants like a grandma ornament. <laughs> Um, then she's coming in October, so actually I want to get that done, at least while she's here, and if you guys know of any good, like, grandma Christmas ornaments, let me know, because I just haven't been able to find any, like, I'll find some things that are bigger, but they're not, like, an ornament, so, yeah, if you have any, let me know for sure, because I'm having trouble finding one, um, and then actually my family, my dad and stepmom and my sister are all coming for Christmas. So I want to make them one. Although my sister already has the Jesus one. So that's enough for her. But yeah, just something for them. And then also my mother-in-law. And then my uh, husband's brother. I guess brother-in-law. Um, maybe, I don't know if... It, he has two brothers. I don't know if one of them is going to be there, but might make some for them, but it might be just too overwhelming. So they're, they're fast. So, so that's good, but that's also what I want to get done. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, into some thank yous. 
I have some stitchy kindness. This is very crinkly, <laughs> um, but some of you like that. So um, this was a package that I got from Nana, the Crafty Shield Maiden on uh, Floss Tube as well. She's also Norwegian, and she just randomly sent me a package of some things she made. Let's see. So I had ordered these from her before. They're floss drops that are very nicely made so much better than my homemade ones and yeah I can always use these so got some of those a needle minder that I already showed you some bookmarks this can be an ornament that I do for somebody this year maybe my well, actually, I can see my doing it either for my mother-in-law or my stepmom. Maybe my dad and stepmom because it's kind of Norwegian-ish and they can have like a little, a little Norwegian-ish ornament. It's like a little, so here they say Ulanisen for Santa, but they also have like smaller ones. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's like ones that live in the barn that if so I think this is how it goes but I might be wrong but they live in the barn and you're supposed to feed them rice porridge on Christmas and if you don't then they do like mischievous things around like your house and stuff <laughs> a little different than they also have the regular more like Santa Claus type but yeah it's funny so maybe I'll do that for them and then we have some more needle minders. Oh, and this one, oh, I love these styles. She said I had another one from her. Um, and she sent me the other one. I love it. So pretty. And these little cute ones. And then the one that I showed you on my other project. So yes, very happy. Now I can have needle minders for almost all my projects. So thank you, Nana. I'll link her channel below. Okay, maybe I won't put it back in the crinkles yet. <laughs> okay. Mm, okay. Then I just want to give a shout out to a new floss tuber who just made a video yesterday. Um, and she had reached out on Instagram showing me like another project she had made that I have in my stash. And... And then she let me know she made a floss tube. She's from Belgium. Um, Sh uh, Shanna, or maybe Shanna, but Shanna. Yeah, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but uh, her channel name is My Beautiful Cross Stitch Mess. And she has gorgeous projects. And um, she mentioned it was like hard for her to put out this video because she also has some anxiety and depression, but she wanted to give it a go. So definitely go over and check her out give her some love and yeah that was since I haven't been watching much floss tube that's the only shout out besides the other people I've mentioned so far um other than that I've been still working two days a week now it's at the nursing home that I was like working on like direct patient care with but now I'm able to do nutrition work for those two days a week because it's too heavy for me to lift patients and stuff which I'm very happy about so I love it so much more <laughs> the other one is just not my thing but it was like a step in the door to getting a Norwegian job but now I'm doing this um and they really it's really needed like there's a lot of things they need to do because they hadn't had a nutritionist there before even though in nursing homes like undernutrition is very very common and leads to all sorts of problems so I'm trying to put together or have put together like a report a case of like why they need to keep me on full time as a dietitian <laughs> but it's like not up to my direct boss it's up to like the bosses in the like city or town uh so we have to kind of convince them but they do say it's important in their budget they say like we need more nutrition 
So I'm hoping we can make that happen for when I get back from my maternity leave. But just in case it doesn't, I'm also in the process of working on starting my own business practice in nutrition. Um, and I'm not going to really get into much about that right now because it's still in the very early stages, um, research phases. And I figure since I have more time now, it's a good time to kind of like get that going. And I'll have actually seven months of maternity leave. So I know it's going to obviously be busy and tiring with a new baby and a toddler. But at the same time, it's probably the best time to work on it because after leave I'll have to go back to work and then I'm if it's the one I was doing before it's going to be super draining and emotionally and physically plus I'll have the two kids so <laughs> yeah I'm hoping I can get it established and going before I go back so I at least have some hope of not working in that other job forever <laughs> so and obviously even if the Norwegian market isn't that great I can also expand to like anywhere so stay tuned for that because hopefully I'll have some updates um on that soon but yeah I hope to be back at least once before before the baby comes I still have a little bit of time so even if I do another month he shouldn't be here yet <laughs> so yeah I'll try my best <laughs> to get back but not putting pressure on myself, um, but I'll, I want to try and get more active again in you got like watching you guys and being on Instagram and all that stuff. So I miss you guys, but that is all for today and hopefully see you soon. Bye.